One of the basic challenges faced by Nigeria today is hunger and food insecurity. In the 2023 Global Hunger Index, Nigeria ranks 109 out of 125 countries. Despite being the 10th largest producer of crude oil in the world, around 84 million Nigerians, representing about 37% of the total population, live below the poverty line with 26.5 million people across the country projected to face acute hunger in the June to August 2024 lean season. Currently, basic food items like beans, tomatoes, etc. have seen over 100% price increase. Experts have also said that the situation will worsen if food inflation continues to rise and that vulnerable people will be most adversely affected. A major part of the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Tinubu's administration is to increase agricultural production to ensure sufficient food in the country and guarantee food security. One of the President's priority agenda for achieving food sufficiency and affordability is to cultivate 500,000 hectares of farmland across the country to produce maize, rice, wheat and other crops. Tinubu also promised a new era in the country's agricultural sector, vowing that it will no longer be business as usual as his administration seeks to boost food security as well as diversify the economy from over-reliance on petroleum. This has therefore formed a premise of the agenda of the administrations and governments of the 36 states. In Oyo State, Governor Olushe Makinde also assured that his administration will see to the support of farmers in the state to the end of transforming agriculture and making life easy for citizens. One of the ways to improve food and agricultural production in the country is by guaranteeing support for farmers in the state. Conversely, farmers of Akufo farm settlement in Ido local government area of Oyo State have on Wednesday, March 27, 2024, cried out, raising allegations on the taking over of their farm settlement by estate agents and developers. The Akufo Farm Settlement Farmers Association took a protest to the Oyo State Agribusiness Development Agency, OISADA, in Agodi, Ibadan, after they claimed that the government did not respond to the several attempts to reach them. The estate agents and developers, without prior notice, the farmers said, only appeared and started erecting poles and signals for possible imminent housing constructions. Speaking to CEO Africa, the president of the association, Mr. Akinshola Uludare, explained how they had written to OISADA, which is their supervising agency for a meeting, but their letters were met with silence, driving them to visit the agency again with a protest. According to him, they saw some people who came and said they came to make the place a housing estate. All we are saying is that the, this period of food insecurity is not when government will make the lands available for developers. There are several other lands that can be used for development. According to him, 
They saw some people who came and said they came to make the place a housing estate. All we are saying is that this period of food insecurity is not when the government will make the lands available for developers. There are several other lands that can be used for development. There are housing estates that are only bearing names with nothing being done on them. Now, from Akufo Farm Settlement, now that is the place that has been prepared for the farmers. And over time, we've been working over that place. A lot of people, food and the rest are coming out from the place. All of a sudden, we saw some people and they said they are there to make the place an housing place. Now, all we are asking about is that at this period where there is food insecurity in the land, is this the period that the government should now say they want to actually make the land available for developers? There are several lands all over the places that can be used. Housing estates are there that are just bearing names. Nothing is done there. So it's very, very unheard of that at this period in time, then it is the farm estate where government is not giving any support for people to farm. I think what should preoccupy the mind of the government at this period in time is how to make food available for the people. Unfortunately, instead of doing that, we had that about 40 hectares of land has been earmarked for housing estate for developers in that place. Now, before now, we've been hearing the rumor, and we thought maybe it was just a rumor, it won't happen. But on a Sunday, majority of them came to the same land, and they were saying that they are there, they have already discussed with people, and they have given them go ahead. Who gave them go ahead? And that's why we said, okay, also there is our supervisory agency. So let's come and meet them. Before now, we have already sent a letter to them that want to have a discussion with them. They promised us this week, but today now, the week is almost ending. We've not had anything. So we are looking at that as a delay tactic. So we have to come to them, to come and meet them, because this is not what the government needs now. When interviewed by CEO Africa, the farmers assured their certainty that the earmarked sites are for housing estates, not farm estates. The aged farmers lamented that their only source of income is about to go down the drain, thereby calling for the intervention of Governor Sheyi Makinde. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I go over, that's the beginning to the end. 95% of that land is palm tree. But can anyone just say that? There are existing oil palm trees there. Palm produce them for food. I want to ask you, 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 I want to family <laughs> Eh? <laughs> Okay. 
Ben one ka. Ati ba ta ba ye se ta ye. Ah, ri o pe bi lori sisi ri. Ko ba se bi ni ni Nigeria. Ko ba se bi ya ta ko ko yin. La ba ma ro epo ebi kiri. 1000 gari Congo kan, ko tun se Congo gidi. Ni 1000 ti 1003. That's my to build a housing estate. Is it housing estate that will boost food production in a time like this in our state? Is that the next thing, housing estate? We have hundreds of millions of Naira investment in that place. We have kids, people who are involved in poultry farming, yes. people who are involved in pigry, yes. people who are involved in fishery, people are involved in cattle breeding in that place. Hundreds of millions of naira in investment you're talking about. And you want to take the land in there to build housing estate. What's the rationale in that? And we'll be and the, 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 the most painful thing is that we we existing farmers in that place were not even consulted. While the chairman Cattle Farmers Association of the Settlement, Mr. Fabio Rasaki, lamented that they were suddenly stopped from paying rent for the land without prior notice and official communication. Somebody just came that government said we should not pay the rent again. We used to pay rent. Why? No communication to this. No letter. Nothing. They, because they want to take the land for housing estate, they just said we should not pay money again. Verbally, we don't they have money, not in no. written document. No, we don't need that. We Hello, want to pay our own Hello? Hello? Yes. Now, another thing is that this farm settlement, as big as it is, we don't have a single tractor from government because they want to turn that place to housing estate. And we are you know, fine. they will not put their money there when they want to turn it to housing estate. So all these things, we don't need to go to go because it's aware of everything that is happening in that place. An erstwhile president of the Association of Farmers, Mr. Johnson Alakbelude, said since part of the renewed hope agenda of the current president is food production, it is ironic to snatch their lands to build houses. He continued that maize is expensive, soya is expensive, wheat is expensive, and the government is not even planning on how to give them necessary farming inputs such as tractors. If you look at what is going on now in Nigeria, even in all over the world, the, there is food, there is food scarcity, and we all come money for food security. If you look at the president, the current president, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, part of his program is all about agriculture. And again, these are farm settlements have been there since inception. Babaolo brought it into life, and majority of us there, we came in there with nothing. And we have been trying to make money out of it. And if you look at it, what is happening there now? A lot of people have left the farm. There is no input from the government. No. We have not been got, getting any no input. support. There all. is no support. We are, we are even we are spending our money our to survive there. Taking loans. Taking loans. Yes. And at, but even at this moment, when there is food scarcity, there is there is space is expensive. Soya is expensive, and every wheat is expensive. And we're not even planning on how to make sure we give us all the input, the necessary inputs, such as tractors. Have you ever given us any of those inputs and you never see us work? That has not happened. And the, the, the most painful part of it is, no matter what, you need to dialogue with us. Yes. We are not animals. We are human beings. And you are clamoring to go and bring somebody from abroad. Do you want to put all our all our graduates okay, into, into all about the investments? And Chinese have been and there are some the graduates that came there some years ago. They left because there is no input. Why are we doing this to ourselves? You believe in b b b b b the bigger farmers? They started from somewhere. They started like someone like us. I started with with seven hundred birds, and I know the, the, the birds that I sold last. 
It wasn't 700. It's more than that. If I had left the farm, would that happen? So you can't just quit us from the farm just like that. They need to do something. Mrs. Sende traced that it was Chief Obafemi Awolowo who initiated the site as a farm settlement, crying that they have not received any help from the government that they voted for. <laughs> By the time town or lower Baba Home or Mojade, me in Versi, I want farm settlement. You told us, okay, if I am from a lady, yeah, but both of us from a big battery, or down on my school. By the time it's here, I want to tell you, told me, or what I'm on my own in Versi, Baba Mafijade, I want to be not one me talk. Baba, I will lower the soap for your candy. Cotty, engineer, Lua, say, ya be all do. That did for time, you tell me. I don't know what 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 what to one of her feet? If it's about our love, was back at the pay, come off with that of our do. What to have a vision? Benny, farm estate. Twenty million. What the con? What shake on? But not a chair, not a policy. Not a good or long soon. Be as you call ye, call a young farm estate, you see, farm settlement. On day, Nanika Fisher Farmer, the Jerry Amoko, Nanika, the Ministry of House and Land, the Secretariat. What are you picking? What are you picking? Look, Taki, Nabania, Ashaka, Nabala, Feba, was she meeting? Nobody lay it down and they go and bash it. You pay a more developer and bought. I get my pay on developer. You jump on the developer. When asked the economic importance of the farm settlement to all your state. One of the farmers said that the farm settlement produces over 20,000 crates of eggs daily. Palm oil, different birds such as layers and broilers for livestock production. Part of the place that has been taken over, we have oil palm there. And those things have been destroyed already. They have been there for over 20 years. Even before I got to the farm settlement, and those things have been destroyed. As of today, as I speak with you, we produce over 20,000 crates of eggs daily. We produce broilers, we produce layers, and several kind of birds. We produce you know, like there are stocky farmers there. There are cattle layers there, there are goat farmers there. If you take over this land, where do you want these people to go? If you take over people's property, you take over their land, you are, and you are de destroying the oil palm there. Where do we produce palm oil from for farm settlement. But if you take over this, is, what do you want these people to start doing? Professor Ola Davis also added that if there is anything acceptable now in the country, it is food security. Akufo Farm Settlement has been a major contributor in agriculture. To turn that place to a housing estate, as we are hearing, is unacceptable, she said. It's an unacceptable issue because if we all look at the federal government's agenda for food security, every time President Bola Metinubu talks about food he talks about agriculture. And so, if there's anything that is acceptable now, is to encourage agriculture. So people are hungry in the, in the country. And Aquifer Farm Settlement has been a major contributor, you know, into agriculture. Aquifer Farm Settlement has degree, poultry, cattle farming, fishing, different kind of things that you can't even imagine that comes out of that place. So now to turn that kind of place to a housing estate as we are airing, it is unacceptable. It is not acceptable. Because what happens to the food that comes out of that place? What happens to the people that are working there? You know, it, it is far beyond what you can even fathom out now. It is far beyond. So if food security is going to be engaged, 
then that farm has to continue. The farm system has to continue. As a matter of fact, the government should come in to encourage the settlers so that there will be increase in productivity. We all know the challenges that farmers are you know, encountering, especially in this year. Feed is increased, you know, rain has just started. So, so much of challenges. So, farmers, crop, agriculture, uh, crop farming, uh, animal farming has to be encouraged. So, we need the government to come in now to encourage, not to convert, you know, the investment that is so much there into housing. As farm settlement schemes are government intervention to promote efficient utilization of land resources and dignity in farming by the provision of basic social needs. CEO Africa gathered that in 2019, engineer Sheyi Makinde revealed plans to revive the nine farm settlements established by the late Yoruba icon, Chief Obafemi Awulowo, in the state. In 2020, he assured that his administration was ready to upgrade the Akufo farm settlement to an agricultural estate in line with one of the cardinal points of his administration's service agenda. To confirm the allegations that the government was privy to the taking over of the settlement, when contacted, the special advisor to the governor of Oyo State on agribusiness, Mr. Olasukomi Adebo Akonde, who said he was outside of the country, told CEO Africa that Oisada does not do housing estate and the government has not announced turning the farm settlement into a housing estate. Akonde added that the focus should rather be on why houses are being built illegally currently on the land and the volume of agricultural activities going on there.